Ted Smith, Field Applications Engineer with Monolithic Power Systems. Today I'm going to demonstrate the Sensima line of magnetic angular sensors using a demo setup and a custom LabVIEW interface. The Sensima Mag Alpha IC senses the absolute angle of a diametrically magnetized magnet attached to a rotating body such as a motor shaft. It uses a proprietary front-end technology called Spin Axis to determine the absolute angle and an SPI interface to communicate with the application microcontroller. Other types of outputs are also available. ABZ, which mimics what an optical, incremental encoder would output, and UVW, which can be used to commutate a brushless DC motor. Let's take a look at our demo setup. We have a brushless DC motor with a small magnet attached at the end of the shaft, and then facing the shaft, we have placed an MA300 magnetic angle sensor in this tiny QFN package. On the computer screen, we can see the absolute angle being reported, and as I rotate the shaft, the reported angle moves between 0 and 360 degrees. Now let's spin the motor up. The motor is actually being commutated by the Mag Alpha UVW output. You can see that we have clipped the Hall effect outputs from the actual motor. The absolute output is just what we expect at a constant speed, moving between 360 and 0 degrees in a nice linear output. The Mag Alpha is reporting the position every 2 microseconds, a 500 kilohertz update rate. We can spin this motor up to its limit of about 60,000 RPMs, actually closer to 80,000, and the output has no trouble tracking. In fact, at 60,000 RPMs, we would see 500 data points per revolution. That's due to its 500 kilohertz update rate. Now let's spin the motor back down and try something that's simply not possible with competitor parts. We'll move the mag alpha into side shaft position. Now we can spin the motor back up and see what happens. Well, the motor doesn't like that. First, we need to tell the mag alpha that it's in the side shaft position. And that's because the magnetic field will actually rotate in the opposite direction of the rotor when the mag alpha is in this position. Now we should be able to spin the motor up. And it kind of works, but we can see that there's quite a bit of nonlinearity, and you can even hear that the commutation isn't very clean. That's because the magnetic field has now become delinearized. It looks like an oval instead of a circle, and we need to trim that out of the mag alpha. We can do that by adjusting this VCT register. And as we adjust it, it retrims the output back to linear. And in fact, we can even over adjust it, and it'll start to get nonlinear again. But let's put it back to about 160. And now we see it's linear, and we can actually spin the motor all the way back up to 80,000 RPMs, and it doesn't even know it's in side shaft mode. The Mag Alpha family of magnetic angular sensors provides a cost-effective solution for many types of position or speed sensing. We can replace optical encoders for a fraction of the cost, and our side shaft mounting capability allows for maximum flexibility in design.